Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a geometry puzzle. Two quarter circles are inscribed in an equilateral triangle with side length 1 as shown. Find the radius of the quarter circles. So these two quarters are identical, okay? Even though it wasn't mentioned in the statement, they are identical or congruent. And we're going to find the radius of them. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to, since we're looking for the radius of the quarter circles, I'm just going to call them R, okay? So it's going to be an R and that's going to be an R and it's going to be an R as well. Cool. Now, we're going to take advantage of the fact that um, this is a 60 degree angle, right? And what is that supposed to mean? Now, if you consider this right triangle, that's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? And what do we know? We know that the longer leg is root 3 times the shorter leg, or to find the shorter leg, we can actually divide r by root 3. But let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. I can write it as r root 3 over 3. Okay, this is going to give me this length right here. Awesome. I know that this is r and this is r, but I don't know that little piece, right? It's kind of bugging me, like, how am I going to find that? Well, you don't have to. We can just go ahead and mark the point of tangency here, which is going to help us in this case and you know in these problems we um, usually try to connect the centers but this is not like a circle to circle type of thing it's more like uh, quarter circles in an equilateral so we're gonna have to kind of make this connection here which is gonna help us okay and this is a perpendicular line and this is also the radius beautiful now what happens is we get another 30, 60, 90 triangle here. This is 30 degrees and this is 60 degrees. So what do we know? We know that the longer leg again is R. So in other words, these two triangles are actually congruent, but that's okay. We can handle that, right? Well, what is that supposed to mean? It means that the shorter leg is going to be R root three over three again, but the longer leg is, you know, the hypotenuse, I mean, not the longer leg, the hypotenuse is going to be, I can probably go ahead and erase this because this is confusing. All right. So this length here, the hypotenuse of this triangle is going to be two times the shorter leg, which is two root three over three R. Okay. I mean, I could write this as root three over three R, same thing. Okay. Now, what do we know? We know that this length is r root 3 over 3, this length is r here, and this piece is 2 times square root of 3 over 3 times r. Beautiful. And what happens if you put them all together? You'll get the side length for the equilateral, which we know is 1. Beautiful. So we can go ahead and proceed uh, from this point on, I think, like with this one. What do we know? We know that this is r root 3 over 3 plus r plus 2 r root 3 over 3. Or I could just write it to keep the original. 2 root 3 over 3 r. And as you know, they all add up to 1 because we're given that the side length for the equilateral triangle is 1. It's given in the problem. Awesome. What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to solve for r. Let's go ahead and do that. And notice that we can actually factor out an r here. Let's do that. If we do, we get root 3 over 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3 over 3. Beautiful. Now, this is going to make the calculations easier because these two already have a common denominator. And if I add them, I get 3 root 3 over 3, which is the same as root 3. So this is going to turn into r times root 3 plus 1 is equal to 1. And what I need to do is divide both sides by r root 3, I mean root 3 plus 1. And then what we're going to do is rationalize the denominator. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to multiply by the conjugates, root 3 minus 1 over root 3 minus 1. And then this is going to be r equals root 3 minus 1 divided by 2. As you know, this is going to be 3 minus 1. Okay, so that's going to be our radius. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment and like. And if you haven't subscribed, 
please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you'll be aware of the new videos coming up. You have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Take care.